Complete training is available on itdvds.com. Now let's begin the training. Now let's talk about some of the requirements for using VMware Server. And there are two requirements that we're going to be concerned with. The first is hardware requirements. That's what type of computer hardware we can install VMware Server on. And the second requirement is going to be a host operating system requirement. And that's what type of operating system can we install VMware Server on. Now there are two terms you're going to hear and that's host operating system and guest operating system and it's easy to get those confused but the difference is the host operating system is the operating system that VMware server is actually installed on guest operating system is the operating system that can be or is installed on one of the virtual machines that's running in VMware server so right now we're only concerned with the host operating system so let's take a look at some of these requirements I'm gonna to go to products scroll down to free virtualization products scroll down click on download VMware server and then on the right hand side here I'm gonna click on documentation the requirements are in the VMware server online library and also the administration guide here I'm gonna open up the online library just expand it out okay and I'm gonna click on administration guide then click on introduction and system requirements I'm gonna go down here and click on host system requirements first requirement we're gonna look at is hardware so I'll just expand this out and VMware server supports 16-way multiprocessor servers so that the top end for VMware server most likely you really won't have to worry about because if you are installing all this, this on a server that maxes out what VMware server can do then most likely you'll be using ESX VMware ESX server and not VMware server it can be installed on 32-bit and 64-bit processors so that's good to know uh, you've got a list of processors here for 32-bit there's not a lot of requirements most normal 32-bit processors you can install VMware server on 64-bit it can get a little bit more stringent so you if you want to make sure that if you're installing this on a 64-bit machine it meets the processor requirements next is memory you need at least 512 but uh, realistically you're gonna need more to put one virtual machine up you're probably gonna need a gig of memory at least so if you're just testing this out meeting the memory requirements are gonna be probably the hardest to do in production environment memory probably won't be so much of an issue but IO will become an issue for you your disk subsystem and again the maximum 64 gigs most likely you won't run into this because if you do you're going to be using ESX display you need at least a 16-bit display adapter hard disks VMware server supports IDE or SCSI which is nice because uh, ESX you can't install on an IDE drive but VMware server you can now let's take a look at the Windows host operating system requirements scroll down and it can be installed on 64-bit or 32-bit versions and basically it can be installed on Windows 2003 pretty much any flavor Windows 2003 or Windows 2000 server or advanced server so any Windows operating system really that's been made in the last seven years uh, it can't be installed on Windows NT and also it can't be installed on Windows XP well I, it can technically but it's not supported and you'll probably run into problems in fact when if you go through the installer on Windows XP it'll actually tell you that you're probably gonna run into problems let's take a look at some of the Linux host operating system requirements and there are quite a few Linux uh, supported operating systems I'll just scroll through them so these are the main requirements that you want to be concerned with and just make sure that your system meets those requirements most likely it will because almost every server operating system is supported and most hardware is supported but just make sure scroll through it and check out your system